Yeah, all right, ladies, thank you very much. Riverside looking to rebound after starting region play. 0-2, making the short trip to Wade Hampton. Scoreless first, Generals punting. Oh, and it's blocked. That's a safety for Riverside as the Warriors get going early in this game. Later in the first, Riverside with the ball on the two-yard line. Braylon Flowers, lot of great name. Great touchdown, nice and easy right there. Finds the hole in the Riverside. Score, it's 9-0 Warriors, second quarter, same thing, ball to two, Flowers Lotta, another handoff, another touchdown, 20-13 Riverside, under a minute in the first half, Warriors with the screen pass out to Israel Lehman, when life hands you Lehman's, you find the end zone, Warriors up 28-13 at the half, and they go on to win 69-27 over Wade Hampton. Hello and welcome back to Fairway Ford Friday Night Hits. Oh, hum, another dominant season for Abbeville continuing to take shape. The Panthers' excellence, unquestioned. They're 7-0, and an average margin of victory of 40 points a game. West Oak up against it in this one. Panthers pedal to the metal pretty much from the opening kick. And off a West Oak punt, it's C.J. Vance fielding it on the hop, losing folks and finding peace. How about a 55-yard punt return touchdown? as he goes all the way down the field, making a, didn't even really have to make a bunch of people miss because he's got a lane, he's got blockers, and we're just getting started for Abbeville. Jamari and Burton, he's moving, he's grooving, he's got another Panthers scoring play. And all right, now they're here, they are backed up on the three yard line. Surely this won't be a touchdown, but it is a touchdown. And don't call me Shirley, Antonio Harrison can scoot 97 yards with a lot of room to roam. And it was that kind of night for both Abbeville and West Oak. They beat the Warriors 54 to nothing. 90 minute ride for Greer down to Greenwood. Five and one Eagles hosting the four and three Jackets. And we've got ourselves a tie ball game in the second quarter. Knotted at 14, Greer ball, Hollis Crosby, Malachi Saunders, and Greer takes the lead. Greenwood's Vay Morton spinning, winning, 59-yard touchdown again, and we are tied at 21. This was a back-and-forth game. A lot of fun here, a lot of points in this one, and really just punch, counter-punch for a lot of this game. And in the second half, Loundis still has another Eagle score. Great game. It is the home team coming out on top. Greenwood beats Greer 35-28. Let's drop back in and a few more scores. Travelers Rest beating Walhalla 29 to 22 and Clover over Boiling Springs 17 to 7. And Southside, they stay unbeaten in their region 36 to 26 over Blue Ridge. Seneca's has lost a few in a row after a strong start to the season, taking a ride over to Belton Honey a Path tonight for a game with BHP. Bears, Bobcats, Battlestar Galactica, BHP down and close. Shaheem Robs driving in for the BHP touchdown. So there go the Bears in this one. Now it's a 16-13 game. Seneca out in front, Bobcats on the 30, and Kamsley Campbell, oh, he's gonna make some moves on his way down, and he gets into the end zone as Seneca takes a 10-point lead. Bears not hanging their heads, though, as they come right on back. Donatarius Burns in for another BHP touchdown. They rally, and they beat Seneca 61-38, to the final score there. Lawrence and Taylors. Facing east side, senior day for the Eagles, but it's the Raiders doing their thing in this one. Ty Roberson in for the uh, short score, coming right your camera. 14-0 Lawrence in the early going. Still in the first quarter, James Rawl. He's going to look for his guy, Michael Mancaca, right here at 44-yard. Well, catch and run, and he's off to the house, and the Raiders are bouncing. It's 27-0 before the end of the first quarter. Lawrence is... Moving along comfortably in this one. Then it's going to be Rawls going deep to Jay Pulley. And Pulley's coming up with another touchdown for Lawrence. They uh, blow out Eastside here, 69-10. to Berea having a solid year, seeking their first four-win season since 2014 at Palmetto. He's loving the shirts. Why wouldn't you? Close game in the third. Mustangs with the ball. It's Zorian Brown weaving and dreaming of six. And he is in for another touchdown right there. And Oh, he's coming right to the camera. He sees it, so might as well do a little dance. And get down tonight. Paul Meadow up at that point. Berea ball in the 30 now. Amaze Robinson throwing long, and Jaheim Dodd comes up with it. How about that touchdown? It's a 50-yard score for Berea, and they tie this game up, and it's the Berea Bulldogs going on to beat Paul Meadow here 42-35 to as Berea's solid little football season continues. How about the Bulldogs now? Four wins for the first time 
since 2014. A great night of high school football all across our area. Just two regular season weeks left, if you can believe it, for Julia and our entire hardworking crew that worked so hard to put this show on air for you each and every Friday night. Thank you so much, as always, for joining us. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Have a great weekend.